Hey everyone, it's Julie Younger with EXP Realty. It's time to do the Portland Metro Market Stats for April 5th. And this is where I go over three areas on the east side, three on the west side. I compare the numbers to the previous week for the actives, the news, the pendings, and the solds in the Portland Metro area. And oh my gosh, I about fell over when I saw these numbers. So let's get to it. So over in the Lake Oswego and West Lynn, and the actives are at 75, which is up by 14. The news are at 57, which is up by 33. 33 new listings in just one week than the previous. The pendings are 44, which is up by 17. And the solds 27 up by three. Over in the Canby, Malala, and Oregon City area, we have the Actas at 83, which is up by three. The news are 48, which is up by 17. The pendings 59, up by 22. And the solds 45, which is up by 18 from the previous week. Then Gladstone, Milwaukee, and Happy Valley area, we're looking at, at the Actas at 146, which is just up by one because the news are at 85, which is up by 27. The pendings are at 91, up by 24. 24 more listings went pending this week than the previous. And the solds are 68, which is up by seven. Across the board over there on the east side, everything is up. It was a crazy week over there. So let's see how the West Side fared. We have Beaverton and Aloha. We have 68 for actives, which is up by 11. The news are 75, which is up by 21. The pendings are 72, which is exactly the same as the previous week. These solds are 65, which is up by 11. Hillsborough and Forest Grove, we have the actives at 60, which is down by 12. The news are at 60, which is up by 12. The pendings are 78, which is up by 27. The solds are 53, which is up by 18. So to explain that a little better, the actives are what's currently on the market. So if we had high pendings, then that's gonna take these houses off the market. And we did, we had 27 more listings, um, more pendings than we did the previous week. So, and we only had 12 more new go on the market. So the actives are lower um, because of that. And the solds, you know, 18 converted and more converted into sold from the previous week. Over in Tualatin and Sherwood, we have the actives at 79, which is up by 15. The news are 73, up by 26. The pendings are 66, which is up by 12. And ready, the solds are 85, which is up by 41. 41 converted into sold last week. You guys, whew, what a crazy, crazy market this last week where everything is in, is up. Everything is up. You know, there's one thing in an offer that I believe will set you apart from the rest right now. Because it doesn't matter what the listing agent lists that house for. If it is something that somebody wants to have, right now you have to offer over list because you're going to get competing offers you know i wrote an offer where there were eight competing offers my client uh went fifteen thousand over list and we uh said we were going to bring in fifteen thousand in cash if it didn't appraise at our offer price this is key because I was going off of the list listing agent's price, four fifty five. I mean, you would think that the listing agent would have comped out this home and said to their seller, "I'm confident that your house is going to appraise for four fifty five. Now, if somebody wants to come in and offer more, they need to shore that up with a with cash into closing on top of their required down payment. My client did that, however. We did not get the deal because the next offer, one of the eight, came in with 10000 more than us and they waived that whole appraisal. Now, if they're, I don't know if they were cash or if they were financed. If they were cash, then yes, they can waive the appraisal because you don't have to get an appraisal with cash. However, 
if you are a lender and you, and you do not have appraisal waiver from the lender, uh, and usually you get those because of possibly how much you're putting down, how uh, long it's been since that house has been sold, all kinds of factors come into play there. However, if you do have a, a finance transaction, usually the lender will want an appraisal because they'll wanna make sure that they're not overpaying for this home. But a lot of times the buyer will, will come in in this particular case and say, I don't care about what the appraisal dollar is. I'm going to bring in whatever it takes to close this deal at the offer price I'm offering you. That's very enticing to a seller. So sometimes sellers will even go with a lower offer just because of that. Because you take risk when you accept an offer and it's going to have an appraisal. I don't believe that the house that we wrote an offer on I don't believe that it'll appraise for even the list price, let alone going 25,000 over. And that buyer is taking a risk that if that house appraises for 50 under list price and they went 25 over, then they're gonna need to bring in $75,000 to close this deal uh, or risk losing their earnest money. So. The key to offers right now is appraisal gap. When you have multiple offers, appraisal gap amount is key. So I have a buyer right now and uh, they're coming in this weekend, looking at houses, got to find a house. And they're talking to their lender because they are strategically figuring out what can we put down so we have enough money to come in with that appraisal gap. It's a strategy. And you have to do it if you're going to win these, these offers. It's still a crazy seller's market right now. Crazy seller's market. So anyways, I am licensed in Oregon, Washington, and Arizona. And if you have any questions or you are thinking about buying or selling, I would be happy to help. So please reach out. I hope you all have an amazing day.